Welcome to Local Distortion. On this podcast, I'll be talking to the best up and coming independent artists and bands. I am your host, Daniel Kirk. My guests this week are Shia. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Would you like to go around the room and introduce yourselves? I'm Chris, I'm the bass player. I'm Dan, I'm the drummer. I'm Zach, I'm the guitarist. And I'm Maz, the singer. This question sometimes stumps a few people. Just be aware. Oh, heck. <laughs> Can you describe Shia in just three words? Bombastic. Oh. Cute. Cute! <laughs> Why'd you say that? We're cute. Are we? Oh no. Cute. I don't think cute. Characters. Okay, I'm drawing a blank. You jangly. Go. Ja- yeah, yeah. Jangly. I was leaving it for you, but, but yeah. I've got there first now. Yeah. Okay. We just warm, I reckon, is the other one. Warm, kind of warm jangly. Warm, warm jangly, jangly, cute and bombastic. And bombastic. That's cool. I think we should ditch cute. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. It's fine. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a really good description. I think that works. Yeah. Cute, right? <laughs> We're not cute. Yeah. You're cute, Dan. You can be cute if you want to. <laughs> that's what I was going aim to do, actually. Oh, we're the band with the cute drummer. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> Actually, Dan, uh, a few of my friends have said, Oh, your drummer's lovely. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just because you're Italian, they think you're going to be okay, lovely. Yeah, so yeah the, the only reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's never going to get out of the door. <laughs> yeah, his head will explode. So how did the band come together? It's Zach, mainly. I started making demos just over a year ago on my own, just in my little studio that I've got. And I just really wanted to, <laughs> yeah. And I was depressed. And, you know, I wanted to. For the audio description, there was a violin. Uh, a small violin. <laughs> there was a small violin. <laughs> and yeah, so I wanted to make a band, and so I joined the website. I think it's called joinmyband.com. I think that's the yeah, website, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I saw that Amanda had posted saying that she was looking for a band, so I just got in contact with her. She liked the demos, and then. She, Amanda, got Chris on board because they were friends. I'm pointing. I don't know why. <laughs> nobody can see. Yeah, Chris the is the bassist. Chris is just this kind of weird-haired friend of my boyfriend's. I didn't really know him well, but I knew that he played bass. Another band. So I was just kind of like, yeah. So you stole him. him. I stole him, basically, yeah. reluctantly. Yeah, reluctantly. I didn't want to do it. My you band was going to be massive. He <laughs> 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 was just a pretender. You know. Yeah. He was like, oh, it's going to be some shit little pop band. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I roped him in and then... Um, and then we had an awful drummer to start with, didn't we? And then, <laughs> it's oh, always drummers, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, They're always absolutely. the problem. So, yeah, we still are. <laughs> Come on, I'm the icing <laughs> on top of the cake. Oh, and then... You're um, the princess on top. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You've got the glittery gown. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah yes. the sequin the, jacket. The sequin, yeah. He owns a silver sequin jacket, which oh. we've so far prevented him yeah. from sporting. <laughs> well, but, yeah, I should sport it at some point. I'm not going to say when, but it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Maybe the band's going to photo It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be debuted at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. His new look. I well, we least expect it. Yep. So we really lucked out with Dan. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So before, before Dan, there was Neil. Oh, yes. So we did have, for a little while have Neil. But Neil for one, was, one session. Yeah, for one session. <laughs> um, but at the time, yeah, he had several other commitments. I think he yes. just started doing several other bands. Well. Yeah. yeah, several other bands. <laughs> Twelve exactly. or yeah. thirteen. <laughs> yeah, because I used to do some stuff in a in a sort of an acoustic thing with Neil, and Neil used oh, to drum okay. for a little while in my previous band. So it's all a bit incestuous, isn't it? The Cambridge <laughs> music scene. But, <laughs> but anyway, so that's um, the best description of this scene. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> incestuous. It is. It really is. Yeah. Everyone knows everyone. Yeah. <laughs> And it's nice, though. It's nice because, you know, that can be really supportive as well. But it also yeah. means that there's, like, yeah, only X amount of drummers to go around or mm. whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think then we advertised again once we realised that, yeah, we were probably going to sort of put something together. And yeah. then, yeah, damn turned up. And then, um, yeah. Oh, he's a whiny. Mm. <laughs> he's oh, cute. He's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cute, yeah. We didn't know what he sounded like, but, yeah, he's cute. <laughs> <I'm> so cute. <laughs> Let's talk about the name. How, how did you come up with this? <clears throat> this lovely name. Well... It was you, Amanda. You came yeah. up with the idea. So yeah. where did it come from? Oh, that was a long of... thread, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a very long a thread. Band name. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the hardest thing choosing a band Definitely. name. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Cause especially kind of because at the start, you don't really know who you are as a group, what 
you know, what kind of sound you're ultimately going to end up with. And it was just, yeah, we were kind of at the end of our tether. We'd all rejected each other's suggestions and I just resulted <laughs> yeah. to going through my phone um, looking at song titles. And one of my favourite songs is Shire by London, by London Grammar. Yeah, because um, that's all that comes up when I search you guys yeah, on YouTube. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for now, for now. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think um, you've only got one current thing on YouTube, so. Now this interview will come up. Well, yes. there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent. London and we're still referencing the original. Yeah. <laughs> the original we're working song. our way up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we just kind of realised that it sort of fitted us as well because we're all kind of, we've all kind of had to overcome some sort of weird shyness in our backgrounds to kind of get to the point that we are now of being in band, being in a band yeah. or in bands mm. and performing. I'm, and I'm really shy. Amanda's quite shy. Yeah, we're quite introverted, really, aren't we? For Everyone, a band, I guess. apart from Dam. Apart from, yeah, apart yeah. From Dam. So you're like the worst Extrovert. people to do an interview with. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're totally <laughs> no, no. out of our comfort zone right now. It's more about overcoming your fear of being yes, shy. This is, yeah, this is true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which we've all done, apart yeah. from Zach. <laughs> <laughs> you're still working on it, right? No, come on, Zach. Say what you really feel. <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah. <laughs> One day we'll oh, yeah. just wind him up so much, he'll just he'll pop. It'll be a mute. I'm just That'd gonna be, bad, be expletives yeah. galore. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's not a Transformers reference. Absolutely not. No. no. <laughs> I'm definitely. Because you do fan. get that question a lot. I have had a few people ask it. I don't know if you guys have. No. But yeah, I've had about four I've people had ask. Nobody I've asked. Never heard no. of. And because I'd quite me like too. to punch him in the face of the Transformer dude, then Is it, it spelled kind the of same? makes me... No, it's not. No. It's not even, it's not even the spelled the same. It's like Shyla, isn't it? So, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't I even think, think there's a H in it. It's like S I. Yeah. Worst name in the world. As a silent Q. It's weird, isn't it? But yeah, no, I. We should name our first album LaBeouf. No, yes. <laughs> in, a, in an ironic way. Maybe. With a silent cue. <laughs> so what kind of bands and artists out there have inspired your sound, do you think? Or, think your, a... or, your, or you personally, that you sort of bring those influences to the band? I think, I guess, Zach, this probably comes from a lot of your influences since you kind of write the songs and they're kind of musically there and then I put some lyrics and melodies well, yeah, to them Yeah, the music it, so. is, all, is me. But, yeah. um, so you're just the brains. <laughs> the brain. Yeah. First person to say Morrissey gets the uh, QI buzzer. Why would anyone say Morrissey? I don't know. Why would people say Morrissey? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not Morrissey. No, I know you're not Morrissey. <laughs> Although I was described as the uh, ma to your Morrissey. Morrissey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In a, yeah. Cambridge Music Reviews. I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I, I I make their music in my studio at home. I'm inspired by loads of music like i can't really give you a particular genre or a band just everything I, just everything <laughs> i like music a lot i suppose for this uh, this band i mean there's a band called land of talk that really influenced me and a band called basement a big influence that's pretty much it i mean i, I just listen to all music all the time so i just like take in all of it and then regurgitate it out <laughs> into what we have now. I think it does It does definitely come out in different ways because I've asked you this question before and then I've kind of gone back and like Googled these obscure bands I've never heard of before. <laughs> and then like, and I can kind of hear the little bits in the songs yeah. where you've kind of, like, you've clearly been listening to them for a little while and then something kind of in that vein yeah, has come you, out. And... It's like, you won't hear it directly, but you'll hear like a chord. And yeah, you think, exactly. oh, yeah. I've heard that chord before. <laughs> so I just take little bits from other yeah. bands. See, for me, I kind of get like a 90s indie rock vibe. Yeah, like a lot of people say 90s, don't they? You know, like, yeah. Yeah. no doubt about that time. Maybe just mm. with your vocals, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's what a lot of people have said. Yeah. Which is but, a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. But it's strange because I don't lis personally listen to anything really from that. So I must have just that. taken yeah. what you've done maybe and made yeah. it 90s yeah. somehow. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Like, the 90s was awesome for rock music, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back. It is. It's coming back. <laughs> it is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's that sort of easy comparative with a female vocalist as well, isn't it? Sort of. I think so. Cardigans were... and Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. Female maybe uh, maybe like a bit way. of like garbage as well. Not like the actual garbage. Yeah. Uh, the band garbage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, a bit I rubbish. Garbage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> My influences are heavy metal. 
Yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it reflects yes, yeah, you can in really what I make. The thing is, he's always got a grumpy face on when he's playing bass because he doesn't actually like any of it. Uh, uh, that's my rock like, face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. I didn't you know. Well, well, bad company is a bit more heavier, isn't it? Sometimes it, yeah. it's a bit like a constant battle, try to uh, force as much heavy metal into the songs as you can. <laughs> it's not <laughs> without yeah, get away with. I would say it's more rock. Yeah, but you have to be it. subtle about how you get these um, rock beats into it. You're it's not, not so really metal. I'm used to play death metal, so I know what metal it is. Okay. So, <laughs> Interesting. It's not really metal, it's more that. rock. <laughs> <laughs> we were joking. <laughs> Lost in translation, I believe. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Affanculo! <laughs> and it begins. Findal speaking Italian. <laughs> Ciao, mamma. <laughs> no. Uh, so now we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Of time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big bang. <laughs> Can you remember the first album you guys ever brought? This is like with your own money. Oh, yeah, I easy. Album. I can remember like singles. I don't know if I can remember the album. I think Kylie Minogue. Can... <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the white album with the hair on the you know the hat on the side. Yeah. I had a picture to go with it that lived on yeah, my I think my mum had that one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just remembered what mine was. I know what mine Quite is. Quite shocking. It's really embarrassing. It was Wham. Greatest oh, hey. Wow. Yeah. My mum was a massive Wham fan. Wham fam! Wham fam! Yeah, so embarrassed I can't even say it properly. But yeah, so it was, it was either that or um, my dad was like proper status quo kind of fan, so I had to swing completely one way or the other. Wow. So at the time, I chose Wham. Yeah. I think uh, mine was Led Zeppelin 2, cassette, audio cassette. Oh, oh so nice. Cool, right? yeah. Yeah. You had to ruin it. Yeah. Do you still have it? Yeah, I think so. Somewhere nice. in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's somewhere in Italy. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere safe. Somewhere yeah. Somewhere yeah. I could narrow it down, but I won't. Yeah, just in a go box. to Italy and look around. You'll find it. I want to guess yours. I got them. George Michael. <laughs> no. Oh damn. It was. You thought you had it then as well? Yeah. Metallic. <laughs> no, it was Dookie by Green Day. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And. Yeah, I was really into them at How that point. How old were you at that point? Uh, I was 11, I believe. That's quite late. Yeah, I think I bought I bought that album when I was six. So Wait, I can be six? excused. Six? Six? Yeah. No way. <laughs> uh, I did, yeah. I asked my mum to buy it for me, because obviously I didn't right. have enough money. <laughs> at yeah. six? Wow. D- Dookie came out in like 94, didn't it? 93, 94? How did you buy it at six? Yeah. How did I buy it at six? No, I'm talking about Wham. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like I bought Wham at six. So oh, I was wondering, you were just I, talking I, about when you bought Green Day. Yeah, no, no, as in when I bought six. I was thinking that's quite late to buy your first album. Mm. Yeah. No, but I, I. You bought singles. Before. Yes, before that, but that was the first album I bought. Yeah, mine was a single. It was uh, Robbie Williams' Angels. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't so need to admit that, but I you yeah. did anyway. I'm kind of proud because it. <laughs> It's a tune, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I just I had that memory of just holding the tape and taking it to the till, HMV Aww. in Cambridge. I was well happy with myself. Just burning that on repeat, just rewinding it. That's the thing, you just I missed used to listen that. to them over and over yeah. again. Because it took so long to rewind it and fast forward it, it was like more rewarding, wasn't it? You then had to suffer it yeah. constantly. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> so now we're going to play one of your tracks. Would you like to introduce it for us? Go on, have some Okay, so this is Bad Company. We released it in September the 15th. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah, it's a very rock sound. <laughs> it's a very rock sound. I think that might have been worse. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just say it. We are Shire, this is our second single, Bad Company. Enjoy. Woohoo! <laughs>
Company. That was your second single. Yes, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> We've established that. <laughs> your first was Hideout as well. Yes, yeah. that's true. So where did you record those singles? We recorded them at Crooks Hall Studios in Suffolk. Haverhill, yes, Haverhill. Haverhill in Suffolk yeah. with John Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a very yeah. nice studio. It's, it's really nice. nice. Yeah, 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 it's actually a really nice place. In the middle of nowhere. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, uh, we didn't really know it existed, did we? But, um, yeah, he kind of selected our a couple of our demos that we had online at the time. Um, sort of from, I don't know, like 1,800 submissions or something and then offered us, like, a free mix and master. So we just decided oh, really? to go and record, like... Oh, that's yeah, cool. We thought, well, if we're going to get, yeah, sort of that side of it, the production side of it done nicely, you might as well yeah, you know, fork out and get some tracking done as well. So, yeah, we just, yeah... Yeah, we went in for a day, recorded yeah. two songs, yeah. and they, they came out really well. Really, Yeah, yeah, well. really great sounds. Yeah, yeah. It was really good fun as well. Oh, it? yeah, it was. Yeah, he's a really cool guy, yeah. I've met him and been down there to check out another band recording there. Oh, right, great. Really cool. nice facility he's got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's really good. <laughs> cooked pasta, nice place. <laughs> oh, really? I did cook pasta, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Italian, there's the little, yeah. There's the little kitchen, kitchen. Isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Such a cliche, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I was up to recording with a bag of pasta. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's what I was going for. Pasta. <laughs> I wanted pasta that day. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia, Cabelli. <laughs> so we're kind of coming to the end of the year now. Obviously, you've had two singles out. What are your future plans for 2018? Big plans. Yeah. <laughs> so, so big, big oh, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> your brain wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah. <laughs> We've been recording uh, down in London with a company called Animal Farm, and uh, we've got three tracks, uh, three tracks recorded. Compliments. <laughs> the other ones. The only cure. The only, the only cure. cure. And, and alcohol and arguments. Yeah. Compliments is first, and uh, we're we're looking at doing a video for it. We're doing some photos, and then it's going to be released in January. 
So is hopefully are you just going to space those out again, like singles, or are yeah. they going to yeah, that's the, together? Yeah. And then ultimately, yeah. I think we'll probably release them as an EP after they've all kind of come out individually or whatever. But uh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, the first one of those, hopefully yeah. end of January, perhaps cool. early Feb. But yeah, as soon as we get the music video tied up, basically. Yeah. yeah. Have you done that yet, or is that it's still kind in the of works? In progress at the moment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It depends where we can find three million space hoppers from. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. A bit of a mission. Logistical yeah. problems. I was going to say Toys R Us, but they've closed down, haven't they? Mm. Yeah. Was they? I didn't know that. No, but the one in Townhouse, I think. Oh. So, yeah, at times. You can probably just buy them all on Amazon or something. You can, yeah. yeah. Send them yeah. all back yeah. and just say they're or faulty or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> all three million of them <laughs> were faulty. Yeah. <laughs> can I have a refund, please? Yeah. <laughs> so what are some of your personal highlights playing with the bands so far this year? For me, it would be it would be playing Green Meadows Festival. Green Meadows, Green yeah. Meadows yeah, was yeah. Awesome, was yeah. great, yes. Yeah. It was Good just time. a really big stage. I mean, there wasn't a massive crowd, but it just it was a really nice experience. Yeah, it was really good. Yes. And everyone that was there kind of wanted to be there. Yeah. It was like it was a nice day, enjoying listening to music. Um yeah, and it was just kind of uh, our first kind of festival, wasn't it? Which is really good fun. Yeah. So that's all the same. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, I enjoyed. I mean, the first gig we did uh, at the Corner House. I mean, the at- for the atmosphere for being like first gig as a band. Yeah. It was interesting. I liked it. Yeah. I didn't. Just you wa- did. <laughs> just watching how petrified Zach was. Zach was <laughs> yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he told us afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you could like hide behind the the stage because it kind I did. of goes round. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And disappeared for about an hour before we went on as well, so we weren't sure where he was. And then, and then he told us afterwards it's because he never actually played a live gig before. Oh. But nobody would ever have known that because because it was absolutely fine. But yeah. yeah. It was interesting. It was interesting. I really liked it. I it was, was so gig. excited. Yeah. Yeah. No, was I, I was petrified though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, craziest or funniest moment with the band so far? There's a really embarrassing moment mm. where I, uh, I was explaining how people sp- <laughs> to people how we spelled band name and we didn't realise or had completely momentarily forgotten that we had a massive projection of the band name on the screen behind <laughs> oh, yeah. me. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> and this was after several really of the... Really slowly spelling it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, as in, not like Elvis. Hobbits, not, nothing Lord of the Rings related, nothing Shia LaBeouf related, you know, like, it's just S-H-Y-E-R. And then everyone's like, oh no. That was a bit awkward. That's brilliant. <laughs> Any other well, moments? <laughs> the, the, the night before the Green Meadows festival gig, me and you, Chris, we had a a pretty wild night. <laughs> we were drinking until like six or seven o'clock in the morning. That Don't was quite. Cr- about. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> just literally just remember exactly. <laughs> so that was crazy. That was the crazy time. I think the old the old uh, festival was a bit uh, crazy. It was quite a crazy time. Yeah. I liked it in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just all we heard from you was ciao bella. <laughs> The thousands of people coming up to us afterwards and going, "Yeah, oh, you're that band." <laughs> yeah. Signing autographs. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, great. <laughs> I, I got thrown out from backstage afterwards for trying to go and meet uh, the Sugar Hill the Sugar Hill gang gang here. They, they don't like being approached by uh, oh, really? <laughs> drunk Saturday <laughs> afternoon <laughs> band members who are drunk. <laughs> I only wanted to wish them well. <laughs> can't, stand, can't stand people like that. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Me. Can't stand people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> Just leave them alone. <laughs> now we're going to talk about day jobs because we all have them. Yeah. What uh, line of work are you guys in? Oh, God, this is going to be boring. <laughs> yes. well, it's, it's boring until you get to, to Dam. We all have kind of mediocre, kind of, you know, That's fine. vaguely That's interesting fine. jobs, but Dam is a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dam. Which job are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Should we build, should we build up to it? Should we do it? Should we right, do it? No, 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 no. I'll start. No, I'm, okay. a, I'm a molecular biologist. I'm a secret agent. <laughs> um, I design uh, specific proteins and I look at interaction with DNA. Okay. So I work with fruit flies. <laughs> that was all going so well until you said, I work with fruit flies. <laughs> Maybe we made it sound more exciting than it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's not that it's exciting. Good. It's okay. It's science. I mean, it can be it can be great. Sometimes it can be less great. 
it's good. I have a lot of free time sometimes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never know. <laughs> You've such an holidays. exciting job. I have a lot yeah. of free time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an ideal job. Yeah. Are they hiring? <laughs> Bye, you everybody. <laughs> 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 they are probably still working in the lab. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do? Do you like kill fruit flies? Do you cut them open? Not these days. Not these days. I used to do sort of, uh, <laughs> some sort of things. Well, do you not have a minion that cuts them up for you? Is that what you mean? No, I mean, it depends on the project. Sometimes you can train you have... them to do things? Uh, yeah, so you can actually. Sometimes yeah. you can train them to uh, choose the right, uh, the right <laughs> spot or train to mate with one or more. Uh, one or female, more? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. It's fun to be a flu- fruit fly, right? <laughs> so you're kind of I like don't know pimp. if it's fun. It's uh, <laughs> so you get cut. not. Yeah, not uh, if you're like in a lab. It's not fun actually. Do you, do you're gonna end up like really bad in the lab. Fruit flies. No, if or you're having sex fly. with each other all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like fruit fly races and then place bets? Uh, you do races sometimes, <laughs> oh. but not with bets. I mean, sometimes you wanna you wanna you wanna check if. Uh, specific flies are faster than others, uh, so you, you do you some sort of. Introduce to the ladies the faster one, because mm. then you get faster babies. No, it's that when you when you when you <laughs> when you have to check. I don't think you know what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Try to stop. <laughs> That's when you have to check if uh, some specific mutations is deleterious for the flies. So um, you you do different tests. Yeah. Can you give them Bluetooth? Uh, you can't, but there are people they do crazy stuff with fruit flies. They do. like give them Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but they them... stick wires in, in in the brain, check stuff. That's the same thing, right? How small would that wire have to be? So oh what? Why, yeah, why fruit flies? Uh, because they are very easy to uh, keep in a lab, and they have very short generation times. So you have a lot of generation generation in a short time. You can do genetic studies or so crossing study the genetics um, because although we we are very different the basic of the biology it's it's uh it's shared between all animals so mm. the basic stuff that happen in the cell the basic stuff how the yeah. cell works is the same okay. for us and for the flies see i i mm. feel like i've learned something now yeah, yeah. and you you can do a lot of things with fruit flies so you can do mutations in specific genes <laughs> <laughs> no, you can you can study <clears throat> how gene genes work basically. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's really interesting. So I guess you guys don't want to say what jobs you do. <laughs> Not you anymore. No. If no. Only I work in a chip stuff. shop. <laughs> 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 if only you put as much passion into your drumming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of experiments like this, giving to fruit flies alcohol and making them dependent of alcohol, cocaine. There are a lot of studies like this. So basically making them addicts? Yes. To then try and, and then cure th- them? Or just for fun? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just, yeah, is it just, no, not just for it's fun. Just, just to study, sausages just, for just a week. Just to study the effects. Or? But you, you don't study do this, the effect. Right? No, I don't do that. No, you don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't you, do that. You'd release the fruit flies let them all go. <laughs> save the fruit flies. Hashtag yes, I do, yes. I do <laughs> save the fruit I love the fruit flies. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the craziest the craziest project was the the one I I did before when I was in Sheffield. I was catching white fruit flies all over Europe mm. in forests, yeah. using like rotten banana as a trap. <laughs> so you put a rotten banana plate, <laughs> yeah. and after ten minutes you go and catch fruit flies with your sweeping net in a forest. <laughs> and you don't know how many that people stop. Yes. Oh, well, and then afterward you study the genetics yeah, of, yeah. of the yeah. different and then you actually population. do some work. Yeah, you actually <laughs> do some work. <laughs> and you, 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 you're, you're stopped by all sorts of people asking, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. That's police as well, a lot of police. <laughs> a lot you're of poli- butterfly net. <laughs> yeah. Getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> That's also how we got our first drummer, with a rotten banana on the feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. You <laughs> caught <laughs> Just in the woods looking for drummers. <laughs> I don't really know how we can follow that, to be honest. Oh, I have the perfect question to follow that. (laughs) Would you like to start a rumour about yourselves, or Shia in general, the the band? The the rumour is that 
I'm leaving the band. No, I was going to say, <laughs> you're not really Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're from Scunthorpe. <laughs> Scunthorpe, no. Chris want to, wants to change sex. <laughs> change sex to what? Fruit fly. <laughs> Fruit fly. <laughs> Is that a, <laughs> a sex? <laughs> Yeah, they do have uh, interesting uh, <laughs> se- sexual organs, actually. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do they have more than one? Is this the no, first no, time sure. you're hearing this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. a lot. Yeah. Or... I have a feeling it might not now be the last. Where's the off button? <laughs> I don't want to know. You want to find it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Right, maybe start the rumour, where, where is his off switch? <laughs> Damn, apparently he has an off switch somewhere. No one has been brave enough to find it. <laughs> They're all shy. <laughs> uh. She sounded like a robot then, maybe that's it. Maybe you're actually not human, maybe you're a robot. I used to think I was not human. <laughs> When I was a kid, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly no. what you mean. <laughs> This is a strange conversation. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a rumour. <laughs> If you could only take one item on tour with you, what would it be? Obviously, you've got your phone. I'm guessing that my the guitar time. is all going to be yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, obviously. And the iPod, my iPod. I'd have to have headphones as well. Okay. iPod yeah. and headphones. Otherwise, yes. you'd be one of those irritating people who just walks around blasting Blaring stuff it. out. Yeah. Well, out of my iPod. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't oh, have yeah, any speed. Listen to this one. Oh, It's banging. Yeah. You can see it playing. Look. <laughs> <laughs> just brings his mobile speaker dock with him, just blasting it out. One of those I'm, people I'm, on the train. I am that person. Yeah. <laughs> I think mine would have train. to be my uh, my picture of Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> That still lives on my bedside table. <laughs> oh. Kylie Minogue you're talking about yeah not some girl called Kylie that lives in your village that's like does Jay know about this <laughs> <laughs> definitely a book a book yes any specific book or? probably just something to do with fruit flies <laughs> nah just the one I'm reading at the moment so okay. which is one, well at the moment I'm reading uh, Revolutionary Road fruit fly by Yates No, no, it's not fruit flies. <laughs> <laughs> the big book of fruit flies. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd have to break the rules. I'd have to take two, and I'd have to take my house rabbits with me. Because they're awesome, and they're more entertaining than these guys. <laughs> oh, my wife! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what are your music career goals? Playing certain venues, festivals or bands that you'd love to share the stage with? I think kind of our goal after these three singles in the new year is to um, is to try and get to a couple of good festivals again next year, isn't it? Now that we sort of um, kind of got one under our belt, I think we're quite hungry to do, to do more because they've just got a totally different vibe to, you know, like a normal venue night and whatever. And yeah. it's summer and it's just, yeah, it's just something about festivals that I just love playing when you're, when you're up on stage. I think even on a small stage, it'll still be still be amazing. So what, so. Yeah. what kind of festival? Like a local one? Or? Um, so like oh, a big one. Yeah. Beautiful yeah, days. One. That would be my favorite. Beautiful, Beautiful days. days would be good. Or um, where's that one? That's Devon. Devon. It's oh, a okay. Levellers festival. Hmm. I've not heard of that one. It's a cracking festival. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my zip. <laughs> I just I'd really like to see. You know, like a lot of people turn up to a gig. That that'd be really cool. You know, other than you know the local <laughs> the local music playing scene. To, going some, to 10 people. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have you have good nights. Play but... play a show with local distortion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, of course. Like, yeah. <laughs> drunk, drunk guy at the Haverhill um, gig. The... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, he was he was fun, wasn't he? Yeah. Drum solo. <laughs> 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 he did it though. Oh, there's oh, always yeah. there's always one, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yeah, any other venues? Or? I forgot what we were talking about. Um, venues or like, bands that you'd want to share the stage with? Oh, Nirvana. Mm, yep. <laughs> Dig him up. Seems Boom. Boom. Stage. <laughs> 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 He's still got it. <laughs> yeah. Failing that, I mean, I know that's not going to happen. Maybe Prince. No. Dig him up. <laughs> Hashtag dig him up. Oh, AC DC. To oh no, AC oh, DC. Oh, Artist that's formerly it. known as Prince. He's dead. <laughs> I was just formally living as Prince. <laughs> Wham! Oh, no. No. Oh, oh, damn it! No. Dig him up. 
Robbie's still alive. That was a bit of a thing going on here. We had nothing to do with Robbie and Carly are still alive. Oh, right, yeah. Robbie and Carly are still alive. So. <laughs> I would love to play Latitude, actually. That would be... I think that would be great. That would be fun. In that'd the Woodlands. Really size cool, band, yeah. yeah. Size sort of festival for us. And yeah. also it's kind of nearby, so I feel like it would be in with a chance, because... Because yeah. <laughs> you were just, just down the road. So I've decided, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just exactly, just down the road. Yeah. You know, local bands priority yeah. and all that We'll jazz. be there on you time, never know. I promise. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So do you have any advice for aspiring musicians? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. So much advice. It's mm. hard to just compress it all into one sentence, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think everyone's been there, haven't they, though, when they do that first gig and you are literally playing to, like, one or five people or something. Sometimes, you know... Yeah, you're, you're always going to have them. That's it, yeah. Um, yeah, like, don't get your hopes... Or, like... <laughs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> but, like, don't... <laughs> yeah, don't, like, have, don't, rubbish, anyway. up. don't have, like, high expectations for every gig. Exactly, like, yeah. You're going to play one gig where there's going to be, like, a lot of people there, yeah. and then the next one, there might not be as many. Yeah, but yeah. Still, you have to put like a hundred percent effort in every exactly, time. and just enjoy it. Like every gig that you play, even mm. if there's hardly anyone there, like even yeah. if you're there better is, for like, it afterwards yeah, as well. But you don't so. even know who one of those people are. Like exactly. one of those people could be like someone really important. Yeah, yeah. Or just that one person. Like we did a gig in um, London recently with Hot Vox, and um, you know there were we took quite a lot of people along with us, and it was one of those gigs where not everybody, not all of the bands stayed for the last band, and we None were headlining at the time. Stayed. Yeah, I don't really... <laughs> None of them yeah. stayed. I don't agree with Bad that. form, but yeah. yeah. That is bad form. Yeah. Yeah. Stay and watch the other bands. Stay and watch the other bands, absolutely. But mm. yeah, but a couple of them did, and yeah. they, like, one of them said to us afterwards, like, you guys are the most exciting band that we've that we've seen live so far. So that was really nice because yeah. it just like, you, you know, you just got two just fans, one, yeah. one, you know, compliment. from one gig and, yeah. and that kind of made it, it, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Another thing you see repeatedly is um, bands that think they're the, the next be- best thing, you know, massive egos. That is annoying for everybody, absolutely everybody. So yeah. many people get annoyed with that, don't they? Yeah. That's yeah. not us, right? No. Not that <laughs> no. We are down to earth. Well, some of us Most are. Of us. <laughs> Yeah, I've kind of avoided those bands. Like I know they're about, and I'm just like, nah, I'm alright. But yeah. if, if they come to me, maybe. But you know, I just kind of hear the reputations and stuff. But yeah. pretty much everyone who's come in here before you has been just level-headed, down to earth, and you know, <coughs> that's good to see because most music scenes aren't like that, and people are just all about themselves, and they don't want to help out any other bands and that type of thing so I think you've come along at the right time where sort of everyone's sort of working together to succeed together as well which is nice yeah it does feel a little bit like the music scene in Cambridgeshire is kind of it's kind of coming back a little bit because I feel like it disappeared for a little while you know quite a lot of venues closed down and you know now the the blue moon's opened up you know and that's another another new venue when some others closing and so yeah it feels like there's a bit more of a music community building so yeah definitely get involved and if there wasn't, I'd be fucked doing this. <laughs> 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 uh, it's all about you, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you just invited my show to talk about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, my, it's my show. <laughs> it's a large vanity project. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. No. <laughs> Not that vain that I have a picture of me on the um, Facebook profile picture. It's just my logo. How did that happen, by the way? Turn the, lo- the tables over. The, like, where the did logo. local distortion the name? How did you come up with that? I just needed something that was kind of catchy and relatable to what I originally wanted to do. So I was just originally going to do a podcast. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do I'll do one a month. You know, I'll be yeah. happy with that. Now I'm doing something every week, and it's taken over my life. So. And you've had to build an extra building to accommodate. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. we've had to build an extra <laughs> studio. Yeah, to accommodate my massive head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of the thing with, like, social distortion. Like, I had that kind oh, of yeah. in my head. Okay. And I was like, oh, local distortion, local bands, uh, you know. And everyone's like, oh, so you're just going to do local bands? And it's like, well, you can see it as in, like, it's local to you. Like, bands come and play, Yeah. you know, mm-hmm. in your town, band from in your city. Yeah, yeah they can it's, come here. It's yeah, local and to you. yeah, it's all about building up. A community and a fan base which you know may be local but the bigger it gets technically you know it's all part of one big scene then 
that's pretty much where it came from. That's cool. good. And it seems to work. Yeah, it sounds good as well. I like it. Yeah, it's got a nice, got a nice little ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, we have t-shirts for sale. <laughs> Cheap plug. All right, so now moving on to guilty pleasures. Is that songs or artists that you secretly love? <clears throat> Maybe a bit ashamed to admit, even though there's kind of not no such thing as a guilty pleasure. No, I, you know I, I don't. Mean. I don't think that way. I don't feel guilty about liking any music. There, to me, there's only music that I like and music that I don't like. <laughs> I'll happily admit that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about music you don't like then. Oh, okay. oh God! How long have you got? <laughs> okay, mate. Uh, let's start with Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. All right, this could go off on a tangent, so we'll just keep it short and sweet. Why don't you like Ed Sheeran? Uh, because his songs are dreadful. <laughs> there you go. It's like being fed saccharine. There's a lot of like. there's a lot of album filler. I find. It's a lot of, yeah, it's all filler. I think it's no killer. I think he's a good songwriter, but I just think it's sort of. Well, he rips off quite a lot of people because I've seen loads of people complaining. They're like, oh yeah, that sounds like this song. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but I think it's, one of those, it's a bit like. Mm. For me, it's a bit like Adele. Like a. I think she's got an amazing voice. She's a brilliant songwriter, but she has written the same song about a hundred times. It's yeah, all kind of always, about the same she's relationship. She's always moaning right? about something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Bit of a whinger, that one. <laughs> Cheer up. I think we're on shaky ground here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can't have... Shia LaBeouf is never going to be Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, the Adele yeah, tour is yeah. off. Anyone else want to... <laughs> Foo Fighters. Foo- oh, Hate right, right, yes. <laughs> Let's do that one. Yeah. Dave Grohl. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> I've got that sleep now. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I know you're listening. <laughs> Apologies. From your mansion in LA. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dig him up. <laughs> Don't worry, Dave. I'm gonna uh, cook pasta for you. You know, he lives in Italy. It's uh, he has a house. Dave Grohl famously lives in Ciao, Italy. Ciao, Dave. Yeah. Is he a fruit fly? Yeah. <laughs> pasta with fruit fly. <laughs> Dave Grohl's favorite food. Pasta with <laughs> fruit flies. <laughs> That's the rumor. That's, That's the rumor. The rumor. Yeah. 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 All right. Now we're gonna play another track. This is a new track from us. Uh, It's called Compliments.
so that was a new track that will be available early next year, maybe? Yes, at some yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. Yep, to be confirmed. When we get our asses in gear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it here shit. first. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> we might release it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, that's pretty much it. Sweet. Well, thanks very much for having us. Thank you. Thank for you so much. Down. Now, where can everyone thanks. follow you on <laughs> social media? <laughs> <laughs> You can follow us on social and media. <laughs> <laughs> Search for death and metal. <laughs> or fruit fly. <laughs> pasta. <laughs> He's definitely a robot. You can only say certain things. Fruit fly and yeah. pasta. That's it. That's we need to turn the tape over. Where do, where's, the, where's the button? I'm not finding that one either. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> Say something. Uh, uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I know. So, what? Social media. Oh, yeah, oh social yes. Media. We are on Facebook. Dot com forward slash Shireband. Twitter. Dot com forward slash <laughs> probably Shireband. I think so, but not it's probably. Not at, bit. It's at Shire. At, yeah, so it's basically at Shire. The at Shire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At Shireband. At Shireband. And, we and are, you have Instagram as well. We are on Instagram. I yeah. didn't know that until Yeah, you need to half do some more ago. posts. We do need to do some more Instagram posts. Because, <laughs> yes. yeah, I could tell you where to find us, but there's currently nothing on there, so that'd be boring. <laughs> I, think there's one, I think there's one post. Is there one oh, post? There? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did my okay. research. Sweet. <laughs> Must have done that one drunk, then. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on SoundCloud as well. We are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. At Shire Band. Band. Well, forward slash Shire Band, yeah. <laughs> okay. Reverb Nation. Oh yeah, and Reverb Nation and oh, Bandcamp as well on loads of layer. Yeah. On iTunes, type Spotify. in Shire. Oh, we're on, we're on Spotify. Spotify. Oh yeah, yeah, you're on Spotify. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Took me a while to find, but you are on Spotify. Actually, something very important. Confirmed. If you can add us to your Spotify playlists, because yeah. that's very I'll important. I'll add you to Local Distortions. Very Brilliant, very thank you. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, please follow Local Distortion playlist. Of course. Yeah, because um, we have all the artists that come in here all in one place. So yeah, if you pick, well, if you find a song that you like, you're like, oh, want to hear more about them? Chances are we've probably done an interview with them. So yeah. Cool. Sounds and, like a plan. <laughs> yeah. And you can follow Local Distortion on Facebook as well. We're on Twitter. And we do a lot of behind the scenes stuff on Instagram. And we do a lot more daily posts on there as well to keep you updated with <coughs> who's coming in and yeah, what's going on. And we also have T-shirts as well. We would add like a little. Really, you didn't mention it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it would have been a cheeky little T-shirt ad <laughs> at the beginning of this interview because yeah, it's got to be done. Do you sell any water? <laughs> peach. The refreshing yeah. taste of still peach. We should start charging <laughs> fans to drink our beverages, but currently we don't. So yeah, come down for free drinks. <laughs> Sometimes alcoholic. If you're lucky. You guys are just Alcoholic unlucky. peach yeah. schnapps. <laughs> yeah. It's all peach, but there might be some alcohol in it at some point. It peach probably tea? will be peach. <laughs> peach coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd like to try that. Try a delicious range of local distortion peaches. <laughs> this really does taste like peach schnapps. Schnapps? Schnapps. schnapps. <laughs> That's how you say that word. Schnapps. Schnapps. Yeah. Schnapps. 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 Definitely just schnapps, isn't it? Yeah. Schnapps. Schnapps. <laughs> we don't know it. <laughs> well, either way, it's it now it's schnapps. <laughs> schnapps. <laughs> You're definitely being special there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's the end. Thanks for cool. everyone for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are still listening. listening. Goodbye. Yeah, if you've got to the end, past all the fruit flies yeah, well and the death and metal, well done. <laughs> death and metal. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're all done. Cheers. It's a wrap. Thanks. Yay. I've got some editing to do. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely get all the squelches and <laughs> a lot of fruit.